Water has been identified as a top priority for aid to Haiti as it struggles to recover. The consequences of not having access to water extend beyond dehydration. Thirst drives people to water sources they would not have considered before, sources contaminated with human waste, garbage, and industrial byproducts. Using this water leads to diseases like cholera and dysentery, which spread rapidly through communities. Aid efforts must place a priority on bringing safe water to Haiti as soon as possible if the country is to move quickly beyond the immediate crisis to long-term recovery efforts. Just after the earthquake, Bill Stultzer from Wave Place asked someone in Haiti, should we really be doing a computer program in Haiti when you folks really need food and water and shelter? The response? He was looking at me like I, that was the dumbest question in the world. He said, are you kidding? All we think about is that this happened. We need something else to look forward to, to and move forward to. These kids are waking up in the morning and thinking about these e-toys projects. And they are feeling like they can actually do something with themselves in a way they were not able to before. The following is a project created by a young girl in Haiti just after the earthquake. January 12, 2010. There was a disaster called an earthquake. I was doing my homework when it happened. I ran outside the house because if I ran inside, I would have died. I said, Thank you, God, for not making me die. It was him that saved me. There were people that died underneath the concrete. There were people that just died from all the running. There are people who got hit by falling blocks. It all happened on Tuesday. On Wednesday, my mom came up behind me. She'd been crying because she couldn't find me. So she was just crying and calling my name. My little sister almost died. She was above the house when she fell, and my mom ran underneath her to catch her. If she wasn't underneath her, she would have hit her head and died. My dad saw lots of houses in Port-au-Prince, and almost all the houses there were destroyed. Only two houses remained. The houses all fell with people inside of them. My dad was very sad when he saw all of the houses fall. I came to Petite Riviere, where only one house fell, and no one died inside. In Petite Riviere, there was a lot of dust. I stayed in Petite Riviere, so I could go to school. School is going very well. So the problems are dirty water and no education. With limited funds and resources, which do you choose? Clean water? or education. Why not clean water and education? Wave Place and Step Up OLPC are working to bring both clean water and education to the children of Haiti. We're developing education programs where kids can learn about the science of water, sanitation, and hygiene. They also learn how to clean water through lessons and engineering challenges. So step up and support them. Thursday, February 24th, 9 Hillier Court, Northwest, Washington, D.C. Or search for Step Up Haiti and support them however you can. Thank you.